What's up, YouTube? It's me, Sarah, and... Oh, no, 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 no! So today, I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna be going over my laser hair removal experience back in 2018. So I got full body laser hair removal, like full body. So <laughs> first thing that I'm gonna go over is cost. So how much did it cost me to get my full body lasered? So for six sessions, full body, it only cost me $1,200. So that's actually pretty good. Usually, depending on the size of the area, but for something like that, it would have well cost me like way past just $1,200. Like for a large area, I think for like just a few sessions, that's already in the hundreds. I decided to get laser hair removal because I was just so freaking tired of shaving and literally like the next day your hair is back. It just seemed like such an inconvenient process to have to go through all the time. And I just really like really smooth and soft skin and I prefer to just be hairless on my body. And I just came across this one clinic that wasn't too far from my house and it had pretty decent reviews on Google. So I was like, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and see. And when I clicked on their website, they were actually having a special. Whenever I looked around and price matched or like compared if I was really actually getting a deal from it or not, that's actually a really good deal for full body. So when I found out that they were having a special going on, I was like, now's my chance. For me, it seemed like such a great deal. So I called and when I called, they set up a, um, a free consult. So when I went in, uh, basically she just looked at my body. She just looked at my skin and she was like, oh, you know, you're the perfect candidate for laser hair removal. Let me go over the process, the equipment, the technology that we have in office. And it all seemed really great. She really took the time to explain to me like the process of it. People who would have the best results are people with lighter skin and darker hair. So for me, I'm pretty light skinned um, naturally and my hair is really dark. So she's like, you're the perfect candidate. The laser will be able to detect your hair follicle much easier. So um, it'll really be able to zap the follicle so the hair doesn't grow back. All right, so now I'm gonna break it down to you guys. Every section of my body, uh, where I did have laser hair removal. I did have the option to get like my upper lip lasered as well but I didn't want to do that because at the time I was really struggling with my acne and I just really didn't want the laser to exacerbate things. I really didn't want my skin to react negatively to the laser and then more skin problems, you know? So <laughs> I avoided my face but I did everything else. So here is my armpit. So I got my armpits lasered and honestly, it didn't even hurt that bad. So I was used to already tweezing my armpits, so I would always just pluck my armpits. And comparing that to the laser, it wasn't that much of a difference. Um, but the armpits, totally worth it. Like, totally worth it. I don't have to worry about my hair growing back other than maybe like one or two hairs like every few weeks or so it'll just grow out and I just pluck it really quickly and then it's gone so my armpits feel so much smoother and compared to like previous photos my skin actually got lighter because there isn't hair there anymore and I'm able to really exfoliate and I don't have any ingrowns like it's amazing this was totally worth it. I would definitely recommend if you do want to get laser hair removal, for sure get your armpits. It's such a time saver. Next thing that I got lasered was my arms. So I got my arms also lasered. I was just so tired of like someone brushing against my arms and I was prickly and I'd poke them. Like I didn't want to have to worry about that. So um, yeah, I don't have any problems with my arms either. So my arms feel really smooth. Um, again, maybe I'll just get like a few hairs on my arms and I just like shave it off really quickly, but it's really smooth, it's really soft. So that's something that I read online. Um, a lot of people who had laser hair removal basically said that their skin was a lot smoother afterwards and I agree, like my skin's really, really smooth. Next thing that I got lasered, I won't be able to show you guys on camera, was my bikini section. So front to back, everything in between, that's what I got lasered. I was really scared, okay, so I never like waxed down there, I never did anything that was like remotely kind of like painful down there, all I would do is like shave. I was like, okay, I'll just purchase the numbing cream. So I got the numbing cream, I applied it to the areas, it did not help, like I literally wasted 50 freaking dollars, like it may have helped maybe like a little bit, but 
it was not enough to where it was like a pain-free experience. Like, that technician freaking lied to me. Like, I had like two or three different ladies who were assisting me and each one was like, oh no, it doesn't hurt that bad. I don't feel anything. And I'm like, you're lying. You're a freaking liar. It hurt so bad to the point where I was like clenching my fists and like my teeth and I was like, what the heck? Like, I had to take a break because that's how painful it was. So if you ever decide to get that region lasered, just be aware. If you wax already, you're probably used to that pain. I wasn't. So it was something very new for me to have to go through. And some people have different pain tolerances. I thought I had a pretty high pain tolerance. Like, I I very rarely cry because of pain. It, If I could describe it, it felt like someone was, like, pulling each individual strand and just, like, twirling it and then yanking it out. Like, it hurt so bad. At first, my hair didn't grow back in, like, my bikini area. Like, it was super smooth. I was like, wow, my hair is really not growing back. But again, something to remember is that your hair growth, it changes depending on your hormones. So my hair basically grew back. It's not as thick as before, but it's still there. <laughs> the next part that I got lasered was my legs. So my legs honestly were pretty relaxing. I had no issues with my legs except my skin had a reaction. So I don't know what caused this reaction. I don't know why my skin broke out in hives but this was literally the worst. Like I was so freaking itchy and I remember telling the technician and like they they're like, oh, that's so weird. I don't know why you're having a rash or a breakout like that. And I'm like, well, I don't know either, but something's not happening. Because every session's broken up between like six to eight weeks apart. So before every laser hair removal session, you have to make sure you use a new clean razor to shave the areas. Um, and that's, I did everything that they told me to do. But I broke out, like this was so bad, like I would scratch my legs so hard like to where it would bleed because it just was like in my follicles, like that's how irritated my follicles were. And it left scarring on my legs and I don't know what caused it because the rest of my body didn't have that reaction. But again, I have sensitive skin, I don't know. And it happened like the last like two times that I went and I don't know what changed, I don't know if it, the equipment was clean enough. Like. I really don't know what caused it, but that's something to be aware of as well, because that's not normal. You should not have a reaction like that after a laser hair removal session. So this is my leg. As you can tell, I don't, you can't really even see my hair follicles, but basically what I'm referring to as the scarring is like some of these like that, you can't really see it on camera, but some of this is like the scarring. It's really smooth though. My legs, I'm actually pretty happy about when it comes to the hair because there's some hair there, but it's not that much. Like just like little bits and pieces, like maybe one or two hairs like in random sections and then I can just shave it off and like my, my legs are really smooth afterwards. With my birthmark, it used to be a lot hairier. Like it was always pokey. Even when I shaved with a razor, like, you could still feel the hair, and my birthmark's characterized by excessive hair growth and, like, this, like, darker region on my leg, and, um, I remember back then I used to be so self-conscious about it, and I feel like I used to always be called out on it, like, random people! I remember in high school there was a guy, he used to like me, apparently, but I was wearing shorts one day, and he saw me, and he was like, Sarah, did you forget to shave your legs? I was like, what the heck? That's just my birthmark. I can't help it. Like, I'm just naturally dark in that one region on my left thigh. Way to call me out, you know what I mean? Those comments, it kind of makes you feel like, oh man, I really am hairy. You're like more cognizant of the differences in like your hairiness or your skin. So my piece of advice is do it just for you. And this is my birthmark so my birthmark also suffered some scars like these are scars but some of these are actually mosquito bites but um, yeah this is my birthmark as you can tell it's darker than the rest of my leg but it's smoother hair still grows back here obviously because I'm gonna need a lot more sessions than just like six sessions I'm probably gonna need like 10 to 15 honestly to get rid of all the hair on my birthmark but yeah, that's basically it. Overall, I would have to say that yes, 
laser hair removal was worth it. Even though I had a bad reaction on my legs, I'm living the life now. I don't have to shave. Just pluck a hair here and there. I maybe shave one region and I'm perfectly fine. My hair follicles back then on my legs were really noticeable. You know, especially if you have lighter skin and then like your hair is really dark like me. And I have a lot of hair because like I get it from my mom. You could see, even if I like shaved, you could still see the hair follicles in my skin. You know what I mean? Like it's like those dark spots on your leg. And I was always kind of self-conscious about it. But once I got laser hair removal, that went away. Like, my skin actually looks pretty smooth. Other than my scars, but I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope that this video helps anybody who's considering getting laser hair removal. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned. I post every single Monday.